Evidence and arguments are complete. Now the jury will decide the fate of the former police officer charged with killing Dante Wright during a traffic stop. Our David schumann has been following what's been happening inside the courtroom in the Kim Potter trial. David? Frank, the jury's finished their deliberations now for the evening without reaching a verdict. They have a lot to consider. The physical evidence, witness testimony, and this morning's closing arguments from both sides. Within seconds, he all of a sudden breaks away. That's the cause, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Kim Potter's attorney argued to the jury that Dante Wright caused his own death, not Potter. The state insisted that's wrong. Dante Wright is not on trial. He's not the reason we're here today. So whether or not you agree with his decision to flee is not what this case is about. Prosecutors said the case is about Potter and her actions, even if it was a mistake, even if she didn't mean it. Accidents can still be crimes if they occur as the result of recklessness or culpable negligence. You're not going to find the word accident or mistake or error anywhere in your jury instructions because it's not a defense to the crimes charged. Potter's defense simply disagreed. This lady here made a mistake, and my gosh, a mistake is not a crime. It just isn't. Just, it just isn't in our freedom-loving country. Now the jury will decide who they found most compelling as they deliberate for a verdict. Soon after they left the courtroom, the defense moved for a mistrial, protesting to Judge Regina Chu that the state's rebuttal was inappropriate. He sandbagged us. The judge denied the motion, and this trial will continue. In the courtroom again today were Potter's husband and two more family members. Dante Wright's parents were also both inside. Uh, David Schumann, thanks for the update. And of course, keep watching WCCO on TV and online for continuing coverage of the trial. We'll, of course, have a live report as soon as the jury has a verdict.